Oskaloosa City Council to order. Uh, today is Tuesday, January 18th of 2022. Uh, we'll start with the invocation. Do we have anyone from Lifehouse Community Church here this morning? Okay, if not, would you play <coughs> pray with me, please? Heavenly Father, as we assemble here tonight, we're blessed to be meeting together. We ask for your guidance and blessing on our state and national leaders. Please bless them with a spirit of grace and cooperation as they work through many challenges. Tonight, we're here to do city business. There's bills to pay, an appointment to the library board, contracts to consider, public hearings to hold, and other decisions that are going to be made for the long-term future of our city. So we ask that you look down on those who have felt your call to be in attendance. For the council members and staff, please bless us with quiet and considerate attitudes, well thought out deliberations, and ultimately decisions that are best for all concerned. Please bless those in the audience and watching the broadcasts, the leaders of businesses and organizations who have the vision and commitment to help the city, the countless volunteers who are motivated to help, and informed citizens who have given us the privilege of their trust and support. Tonight we assemble to combine the talents that you have given us for the benefit of Oskaloosa. So may the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. Amen. Join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Alman? Here. Burnett? Here. Jury. Here. Comfort? Here. Drost? Here. Hermson? Here. Ocean? Here. Okay. Uh, first item of, on our agenda is the opportunity for community comments. This item is reserved to keep to receive comments from the community for concerns whether or not they're on the current agenda. Uh, the community is encouraged to speak before the mayor and city council. Asked to keep statements brief, no longer than three minutes, please. Uh, any questions should be asked to the city staff, uh, council members, or the mayor prior to speaking to the full council so concerns can be properly researched and answered away from the meeting. Uh, comments are to be directed to the mayor and city council only. Is there anyone who would like to speak tonight? Seeing none, we'll move on. Next item is the adoption of the consent agenda. These are all items that are routine in nature. I uh, did want to draw the council's attention to item J, where we're making an appointment to uh, the library uh, board of trustees. Scotty Moore has submitted her name, and so I would uh, recommend appointment for, of her. And then also item M, which is a resolution setting a public hearing for the sale of city-owned property. It's located at 115 Fifth Avenue West, and that hearing is going to be on February 22nd of 2022. Also item N, which is a resolution setting the date for a public hearing on the plan specs and authorizing advertisement of bids for the 2022 Sanitary Sewer Improvement Project. That hearing is going to be on March 7th of 2022. Um, do we have a motion of support for the consent agenda? Move. Second. Okay. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Comfort? Yes. Drop? Yes. Hermson? Yes. Ocean? Yes. Almond? Yes. Burnett? Yes. Jerry? Yes. Okay, that passes. First item on our regular agenda is a report uh, regarding code enforcement in the first court. Uh, let's see, who do we have presenting tonight? You want me to go through it, Amy, or just? Yes. All right. Okay, uh, Captain Mark Tennyson, I'm the interim fire chief right now. So last quarter, um, which is October through December 31st. Um, we did 93 cases, um, 83 of those resolved and 10 of those are still open. Uh, cases that remain open are dilapidated structure as well as cases that involve debris and hard surface parking, uh, which have been sent to the city attorney for legal action. So kind of a breakdown, dilapidated structures, two, hard surface, <coughs> seven, garbage, 26, grass or snow, two. And like I said, most of those were resolved. Uh, 
65 percent of the violations were resolved within without city attorney or code enforcement taking any further action which is always what we like to see rather see 100 percent but and then a breakdown of the you know the, the owner occupied uh, 10 of those rentals were six contracts seven and others uh, which were one <coughs> Um, kind of our goals for this year, we're short a guy right now, we're in the process of hiring. Uh, so our, our code guy is actually working shift, so he doesn't get to be out five days a week. Um, so like I said, we're in the process of hiring a new person, and that person's going to take over the code responsibilities. So hopefully, you know, we'll get some more cases going and a quicker resolution, uh, just because the, the person doing it now is, like I said, sometimes only works two days a week. So things get delayed uh, some of the code there's pictures of some of the cases that were closed um, and then of course all the abatements you want to go into the abatements painting or well, those will be a separate okay yeah. anybody have any questions or comments I always like seeing the pictures <laughs> I mean happen. because some of them and, and I mean some of them are the, pretty obvious yeah they're like wow yeah. Yeah. yeah you know the south 11th the south 7th the uh, uh, highway 23 I mean David yes. spent a ton oh, yeah. of ton of legal time you guys years, have spent a spent ton of time on that it's better. they've got work to ways to go on a couple of those but they're but they're so much yeah. better and uh, appreciate the, the work that you guys do <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank, thank you. you, Mark. Okay. Let's get this okay. Moving on to item B. This is to consider a resolution for levying special assessments for a nuisance abatement at 402 Fourth Avenue West. Uh, this is in accordance with Oscar's Municipal Code. 8.08.080. Um, so a nuisance abatement was performed on August 23rd of 2021. Uh, code enforcement staff received the complaint of a large amount of garbage at the address. They documented the complaint and on September 1st of 2021 conducted the abatement of the property. Uh, and uh, the, uh, so the work was done. Uh, there was a certified notice sent to the property owner, notice to be published in the Oscaloosa Herald that if approved, the property owner has 30 days from the time of filing with the Mahaska County Treasurer to pay for the abatement. Uh, after 30 days, it gets assessed to property tax and a uh, payment schedule with 9% interest. So I'll open the public hearing. Is there anyone who would like to speak to this tonight? Okay, seeing none, I'll close the public hearing. Uh, do we have a motion of support for levying the special assessment? So move. Okay. I'll second it. However, you want to do any of it. Okay. Uh, any discussion? Roll call. Ross? Yes. Hermson? Yes. Ocean? Yes. Almond? Yes. Burnett? Yes. Calajari? Yes. Comfort? Yes. Okay. That passes. Item C this is to consider a resolution levying a special assessment for nuisance abatement at 502 North Market. Uh, this is also in accordance with. Uh, municipal code 8.08.080 and so uh, the nuisance abatement was performed in accordance uh, with code August 20th where the code enforcement staff received the complaint for junk and debris on the property gave the occupants of the property until August 26th to clean it up uh, on September 2nd code enforcement conducted the abatement and uh, so like the, the previous one uh, certified notices were sent out and uh, they do have 30 days to be able to pay off the bill. If not, it goes on the property taxes at 9% interest. Uh, do we have a motion of support for this resolution? Oh, excuse me, public hearing first. So I'll open the public hearing. Anyone to speak? Okay, seeing none, now the motion. Second. Okay, thank you. Second. Okay, second by Bob. Any comments? I'm just shocked that we can clean these places up for 250 or $300. Uh, our sale? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we're getting them cleaned up. Yeah. Yep. 
Well, can I ask? Can I ask a question? Yeah, fire away. Um, when I was campaigning for um, county supervisor, I attended a number of other uh, city council meetings in the county. And that was an overriding issue in every city was how to clean up mm -hmm. uh, properties. So I don't know if I can make some because it seems to be a problem here. It's a problem in the other nine cities in this county. If there's something we could do, you know, and I don't know what's been suggested in the past and that. But, um, I'm thinking about some of the state meetings. I think nuisances are addressed every year. Uh, mm -hmm. That and it is. It's you know as you talk to other. Uh, mm -hmm. city representatives in other cities, it never goes away. Mm -hmm. uh, that uh, You can be uh, as compassionate as you want to be. Mm -hmm. uh, ultimately, it always seems to be that you always have to have some sort of enforcement piece mm -hmm. that says, if you don't do it, mm -hmm. well, we will, but you'll pay for it. Mm -hmm. um, and so that it seems like that's where it always comes to. Uh, as Mark mentioned earlier, 65% of these, as soon as uh, a property owner knows that they've got attention on them, that's oh, enough. Okay. They'll do it. Okay. Uh, but you do have to have I didn't a, know what the success rate was on yeah. that, so, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, a little over <coughs> half. Yep. Okay. Other comments? Roll call, please. Carson? Yes. Ocean? Yes. Almond? Yes. Bernard? Yes. Calgary? Yes. Comfort? Yes. Strauss? Yes. Okay, that passes. <coughs> Item D. This is a resolution levying a special assessment for nuisance abatement 816 D Avenue West. Um, so like the others before, certified notices were sent out um, and if approved, the property owner has 30 days from time of filing with the treasurer to pay for the abatement at the city clerk's office. After 30 days, 9% interest. Um, nuisance abatement performed in accordance with code on, whereas on July 6, of 2021, we had code enforcement staff cite the property for garbage and junk. And then on September 24th, uh, code enforcement notified there was still significant garbage and junk. And so the staff notified the contractor with an emergency abatement being done. Uh, so uh, do we have a, I'll open the public hearing. Is there anyone who wants to speak to that? Okay, seeing none, I'll close the public hearing. Uh, do we have a motion of support for this resolution? So moved. Second. Okay. Any discussion? Yeah, is Mark still there? Yep. Hey, Mark, is, are any of these frequent flyers? Frequent flyers? Uh, frequent flyers. Yeah, people know we've seen them in the past. Not these particular ones. Can that? you come up to the microphone? Not, not these particular ones that I know of um, because um, notices were sent. You know, most of the time, if it's if it's in a year, we can just go redo it. You know, if we did an, an abatement and six months from now there, there, that's a problem again, we don't have to send them a notice. We can just go do it. Okay. So mm -hmm. my assumption okay. is these are all brand new. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. And while you're up there, I had a question on it though. That uh, so this time around, we notified a contractor and did an emergency abatement. Do you remember anything unique about this one as opposed to us doing it um, ourselves? A lot of this one was what we call garbage. Um, garbage we can do sooner because it, sometimes it gets to be a health issue. Uh -huh. If it smells or someone sees mice or rats or raccoons mm -hmm. coming in and out mm -hmm. of the garbage, okay. it seemed like the pile was getting bigger <clears throat> from when we first took pictures. And we went back, like I said, there was more garbage there. They obviously weren't doing anything with it. They were just adding to it. Um, so that constitutes a, a safety issue. Okay. And then we can do it quicker. Okay. That makes sense. Yep, it yep. sure does. Yep. Yep. So, okay. thank you. Okay. Any other comments or questions? Roll call, please. Ocean? Yes. Almond? Yes. Burnett? Yes. Calgary? Yes. Comfort? Yes. Dross? Yes. Hermson? Yes. Okay, that passes. Gets us to item E. Uh, this is to consider a resolution levying special assessment against property for cutting and removal of weeds by the City of Oskaloosa. Uh, this is in Title 8, Chapter 8.20 of the City Code of Oskaloosa. And so uh, we have a schedule in Exhibit A. I believe there's five properties there. Uh, certified notices were sent to the property owners. Notice published in the Oskaloosa Herald. 
And the property owner would have 30 days from the time of filing with the Mahaska County Treasurer to pay for weed cutting in the city clerk's office. After 30 days, it's assessed on the property taxes at a 9% interest rate. So I'll open the public hearing. Is there anyone who would like to discuss this? Okay, seeing none, I'll close the public hearing. Do we have a motion of support for this resolution? So moved. Second. Okay, any discussion on this? Steve, in answer to your question from the previous abatements, if you look at the schedule, we have uh, two first offenses, two second offenses, and a third for mowing. Right, that's why I was asking about yeah. that. Yep. We don't, we don't show that record there, so I was asking, and it sounds like we don't have any, so. For the comment, roll call, please. Allman? Yes. Burnett? Yes. Calajuri? Yes. Comfort? Yes. Drost? Yes. Hermson? Yes. Ocean? Yes. Okay, that passes. <clears throat> Gets us tied about. And so this has to do with a resolution establishing the use of American Recovery Plan Act special funds, or creating the fund anyway, ARPA. So at the July 19th of 2021 council meeting, councils approved the city clerk finance director uh, to request funds from the U.S. Department of Treasury through the American Rescue Plan, Coronavirus Local Fiscal Recovery Plan. Uh, the city received the first payments in August of 2021 and November 2021, total of $860,205.50. The second portion of the allocation is anticipated in July of 22, that being $1,720,411. Use of the funds must be determined by December 31st of 2024, and the funds must be expended by December 31st of 2026. During the study session on December 6th of 2021, sewer rate projections included the use of ARPA funds to replace existing sewer and stormwater infrastructure that's in need of repair. Staff is requesting the City Council direct the City Clerk to determine possible expenditures of ARPA funds that would be used for sewer and stormwater infrastructure projects and to present to the City Council during the budget process. Uh, staff is recommending approval of the resolution. Do we have a motion of support? So, second. Okay. Any discussion? Roll we've, call, please. We've got places to spend it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Burnett? Yes. Calajuri? Yes. Comfort? Yes. Drost? Yes. Hermson? Yes. Ocean? Yes. Allman? Yes. Okay, that passes. Item G. This is to consider a resolution approving and authorizing application uh, for a state of Iowa Revitalize Iowa Sound Economy grant or a RISE grant. <clears throat> for several months before his departure, former city manager Mike Schrock was working with partners with the Chamber and Mahaska County, McClure Engineering, and the area property owners on an application to create a 500-acre-ish uh, Iowa certified site at the Southeast Industrial Park. The work is still ongoing. The Chamber has been invited to the third phase of that effort with the application due in May. With the invitation and pending application, the city, through Mahaska County, has an opportunity to apply for the, to the Iowa DOT for a RISE grant application, building the Southeast Connector. The Collector or Artillery Road project has been planned for many years to relieve the truck traffic on 15th Avenue, and it would be done by connecting Highway 63 south of town to Highway 23, and ultimately Osborne Avenue, at the Southeast Industrial Park. Estimated to cost the uh, to build the two-lane road is approximately 9.2 million estimate by now. The grant application includes a request for nearly six million dollars in RISE funds. That leaves 3.2 million dollars to be shared by the city and the county. Current discussions indicate there would be an equal 50-50 share with the city being responsible for approximately 1.6 million to, to build the road. And if built, the roadway would initially be under county jurisdiction. So do we have a motion of support for this resolution uh, applying for the RISE money? Okay. Second. Second. Okay. Any discussion? Uh, I should, uh, for the viewing audience, I, sh I should also let the audience here know that uh, there was a study session held before this meeting in which the council spent a significant amount of time discussing this. Mm -hmm. 
it's a great project and it's one the county and city agree on and uh, we need to it's something been planned and desired for a long time and we need to if we can get six million dollars in uh, grant funding to get it done let's get it done yeah yeah every now and then there's a project that comes along that that will change the the way that the city feels in the for a very very long time in the future and so this is very much something that's been needed to be done so. yeah. roll call Calajuri? Yes. Comfort? Yes. Dross? Yes. Hernson? Yes. Ocean? Yes. Almond? Yes. Burnett? Yes. Okay, that passes. Gets us to item H. Uh, consider an ordinance amending the City of Oskaloosa, Iowa Municipal Code, Chapter 2.72, having to do with the Library Board of Trustees. So upon recommendation by the State Library of Iowa, the Library's Board of Trustees and the City Attorney have reviewed Chapter 2.72 on behalf of the Library. And some recommended changes other than minor verbiage revisions and updates, uh, Section 2.72.030 would increase the allowed number of Mahaska County residents to be appointed by the Mayor from 2 to 3. Uh, section 2.72.070 would reduce the number of allowed absences of trustees from consecutive regular meetings of the Board from 6 to 3. <clears throat> and section 2.72090, having to do with the powers and duties, it would remove the city treasurer as the board treasurer. As far as hiring of personnel, it removes the section regarding assistance and employees' compensation uh, being paid per approved city scale, and also indicates that the library director and part time employee compensation, while fixed and approved by board majority, is subject to the approved annual budget of the library. Uh, as far as removal of personnel, it would indicate that the library director by vote can be removed for any reason, and the City Historical Association uh, removing the section because the library has not housed the Mahaska County Historical Archives for many years. And finally, 2.72.100, um, uh, contracting with other libraries, there would be termination, indicating that a termination requires a 90-day written request for termination of library services. Uh, so, uh, this is something that I believe needs to have multiple votes, doesn't it? Yeah, so this would be the first first reading to have a motion of support. So move. Second. Okay. Any discussion on this? So just for clarification on the <coughs> mayoral appointment to it, are we increasing the size of the board or is that just changing the composition of how they're appointed? Mary, would you come up? Um, so it is not changing the number of people. It's just allowing us to possibly have a third person. There's nine member board, so right now it's a 7-2. So we thought that it would be prudent to possibly have a more even distribution. So three from the county, six from the city. So and it's not guaranteed. It just allows that possibility. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So to, to ask a question you're totally unprepared for, if the uh, if you were to look at the amount of usage by the library, would it be roughly two thirds city of Oskaloosa, one third out in the county? Circulation wise, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can I ask about the County Historical Association? What what's going to happen with the records or they have not been housed in the library for over twenty two years. Oh, okay. So it's <laughs> just kind of the, the paperwork. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Any other comments or questions? Anyone feel just especially motivated to bring Miriam back up? <laughs> okay. Roll call, please. Comfort? Yes. Dross? Yes. Hermson? Yes. Ocean? Yes. Almond? Yes. Burnett? Yes. Calajuri? Yes. Okay, that passes. <clears throat> gets us to item I. Let's consider approval of pay application number 20 in the amount of $318,133.24 to Graphite Construction. Uh, this is for the Early Childhood Education and Recreation Center. Uh, so in the item, you can see the uh, listing of, of activities and payments that have been made over the, the last many months. Uh, so do we have a motion of support for this $318,133.24 payment? Moved. 
Second. Okay. Any discussion on this? Mm. I can't believe we're on pay application number 20. I'm pleasantly surprised to see the invoice is only 300,000. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Hernson? Yes. Ocean? Yes. Almond? Yes. Burnett? Yes. Algeri? Yes. Comfort? Reluctantly, yes. <laughs> Let the minutes so reflect. <laughs> um, okay, that passes. It gets us to the end of the regular agenda. Uh, reports on items from city staff, city ma acting city manager or city clerk, anything? Just to remind people if anybody's watching, um, visit tax abatement forms are due by February 1st. Um, so if you've had any improvement to your, your home or your business in the last year, this will be the time to fill out the forms. If you have questions, contact the state clerk's office. And it's February 1st. February 1st by 4 o'clock. Okay. Okay. City Attorney, anything? Nothing, thank you. Okay. Well, oh, let's see. Council members, uh, how about you, Rhonda? Anything? No. Sorry, missed yesterday, guys. Yep, understood. Uh, Janet, how about you? Uh, no, ma'am. Okay. <clears throat> Steve, how about you? No, I'm good, thank you. Okay. Um, Lisa? I also apologize for missing yesterday. So. Yeah. Understood. Mm -hmm. Okay. As long as you agree with what got done. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> um, Joe, anything? No, nothing. Okay, Charlie? Nothing. Bob? I think the only thing I had, I think it's next Wednesday, the 26th, Sean, is that right? Mm -hmm. The uh, city's comp plan. Do uh, you want to speak to that just real quick? Yeah, yeah, thank you. Uh, so next week we will hold the community roundtable. So this is, this is a great public opportunity uh, for residents, business owners to show up. The whole community is invited. So it'll be at 5 o'clock next Wednesday, the 26th at Penn Central Mall Central Court. So RDG, our consultant for the project, they'll do a brief uh, presentation. They'll have boards set up, and then we'll break into small groups, and we'll have, uh, I think, up to 10 tables uh, where residents can just sit and talk about uh, the community, what they would like to see, and give us input. We'll collect that input at the very end, and then that will, will get incorporated and considered uh, by the committee and RGG, RDG uh, for the project. Mm -hmm. And once again, the date and the time. Uh, Wednesday, January 26th, starting at 5 o'clock, and we're estimating that'll go about an hour and a half. Okay. Sounds real good. Thank you, Sean. Thank you. That's all I have. Okay. And the only thing I wanted to touch on was eggs and issues is coming up on Saturday. Uh, that um, this is an opportunity if you, uh, if the, the uh, city stuff isn't entertaining enough for you, well, we have state <laughs> folks that uh, will be there uh, from the state house of representatives and the state senator. So uh, again, that's at 8:30 on this coming Saturday at Smoky Row. Uh, and, uh, of course, always coffee provided, and it's a great opportunity to uh, talk about what's happening at the state level. There's a number of uh, initiatives that are happening. These are going to, it's going to be an exciting year. So, with that, do we have a motion to adjourn? So move. Second. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 We're adjourned. Thanks, everybody.